Hey everybody, Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton to show you this lovely satin cashmere metallic RX350. Underneath the hood we got a 3.5 liter V6 engine running on regular gasoline. Take a quick look at the rims and the tires. 19 inch rims, all season radials. If you look up at the mirror you'll notice the integrated turn signal. The mirrors are power folding, power adjustable, heated and they save with your seat memory. Okay, now we're going to take a look inside the car. First, we'll take a peek at the door panel. you notice the seat memory up here. Power locks, power windows, power mirror control. A little lower down, we have the little flap here for envelopes and papers. We also have a water bottle fits back there. We like to mention the contoured design of the door jams on the RX350, so when the door closes, it uh, insulates the step up to keep it from getting dirty, to keep road grime getting on there. So when you get in, in and out of the vehicle, you're not going to scuff your shoes or your pants. Power seat settings. Power trunk, gas cap release, hood release, parking brake. Just going to get inside the car now and shut the door. We'll go through some of the features of the interior. So give it two pushes to, to start on the battery and the lights. Take a look on the left here, extra little cup holder for the driver. Steering wheel audio controls, so these are doing your volume, these will select your track or your channel, and then mode will switch you from auxiliary to CD to AM, FM radio. Over on the right hand side, Bluetooth controls, so your call answer, hang up, voice command. These arrows here adjust a little display screen on your dash that's going to show you different ways to look at your fuel economy and cruising range and just a little bit of data to have right there. Take a look over at the display screen now. You'll notice it's sunken pretty deep inside the front dash and that serves the safety uh, it's, it's basically a safety feature so that it's easy to take a glance at when you're driving. You control the, the display screen through something called the Lexus Remote Touch System, which is this right here, and it basically functions like a mouse. You, you put your hand down on it, and then this top piece rotates around, and that's what controls the cursor up here. It also snaps to buttons when you get close to them so that you are pressing the right one. On this display screen there's lots of different information that the vehicle has to show you. If I push the menu button down here there's a bunch of different options from your destination settings to your vehicle information and system settings to your phone, climate, media and radio. So almost everything to do with the car is controlled through here. If we look down a little further on the center console you'll notice the classic stereo controls, the power, the volume, the, the scroll, the CD player is obviously here as well. A little lower down we have the fan controls which can be controlled through here or through the display screen and the temperature for the driver side and passenger side temperature down a little bit lower on the shift knob you'll notice it has sport mode with tap shift a couple of cup holders down here this is the key the heated and cooling seat settings are right here for the driver and the passenger I'll open up the armrest and show you inside this piece slides back and forth it also pops out if, if you need to get it out of there whatever you want to do with it. Down at the bottom there we have the auxiliary power outlet and up a little bit higher we have the USB and auxiliary inputs for the stereo so when you want to plug in your iPod or other portable audio device. Moving over to the passenger side now the lock and glove box, passenger door and window controls as well as another flap down there on the door panel and a water bottle holder the mirror 
is auto dimming so once nighttime comes around and it senses the bright lights it'll just dim no thought or effort put into that if we take a look up here we'll have the sunroof controls as well as the dome light and a holder for sunglasses with the sunshades the light comes on the light goes off when you look at the mirror one last little feature that I skipped over and coming back to mention is this button here is your rear window defroster as well as your heated mirrors so very useful to have in the winter time so that's a general overview of the features that you can expect in the RX350 Touring Package. All in all, a pretty, pretty set up vehicle. I'd say there's a lot, a lot to play with, a lot to learn, and just generally it's convenient, really. Okay, now we're going to move around to the back of the vehicle. Take a look at just the design in general first before we get into the features. So the unit is equipped with a rear window wiper and we hide them up inside the spoiler so that they're not going to get covered in snow, they're not going to get iced up, they're always going to be reliable in the winter time. The trunk is a power trunk. There's a button on the inside of the vehicle as well as one right here on the remote. We'll take a look inside the cargo space in this unit. There's a couple extra things in the bags here. The carpet mat for the cargo area, the carpet mats for the rest of the vehicle. A couple leather bound books just for to store your manuals and the uh, navigation CDs, that kind of thing. As well as a cargo net down here. Another feature is the cargo cover. The rear seats are a 40-20-40 split, so you can have them up or down in any combination that you want. If we take a look at the side here, you'll notice on both sides there's the handles. You just give one of them a pull and the seat falls flat down to give you that extra room. and It's just designed that way so that you don't have to run around the vehicle to pull those seats down. You can do it all from back here in the cargo area. So once it's all loaded up and you're ready to go, power buttons up here for the trunk and it closes up now as we move along we'll take a look inside the rear seats pretty straightforward lock power window cup holder on the back of the front seats we have the little flap for papers and books that kind of thing single piece rubber floor mat the center seat folds down it's an armrest as well as having a little storage space on this side and a couple cup holders here obviously the heating vents on the back of the front armrest as well as the dome light up top the seats themselves can move forward or backwards to give you or your cargo a little bit more room. They re also recline and if nobody's in it and you pull that lever then the seat falls flat down as was demonstrated earlier in the cargo section of the video. So all in all pretty basic for the rear seats but they're extremely comfortable and a very nice ride. Now we're gonna move on to the front of the vehicle so the first thing I'll show you is the headlights. I have the daytime running lights turned on right now, and these are the LEDs. Very elegant look to them, as well as being very functional and very visible in all weather conditions. A little bit lower down is the fog light, of course. We step back and take a look at the new grill for the Lexus 2013 model year. It's the Lexus Spindle Grill. And pretty much all of the vehicles on the 2013 lineup have a grill design based off of this. With the bent-in edges and the chrome trimming. Now we'll take a look inside the engine compartment as I have the hood popped already. 
So this is the 3.5 liter V6 running on regular gasoline. One of the first things you'll notice opening up a Lexus engine compartment is that there's these covers and it just kind of helps finish the vehicle, make it look very clean. It serves a couple functional purposes as well, mainly to keep dirt and debris out of the engine, as well as acting a little bit as an insulator to help quiet down the engine. You'll also note that it's sealed with rubber stripping all the way around. All in all, just a very clean finish. So that's all I have to show you with this RX350 in the satin cashmere metallic. Very pretty vehicle. I'm sure it'll make someone very happy when it gets off our lot. I'm Ryan from Lexus of Edmonton. Thank you very much for watching.